Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to react to <sighs> popular songs that I've never heard. This is by my boy, Amir. This is a brand new video he recently just dropped. So, we're going to do this one. I, I, if you was part of the stream the other night, if you was part of the stream on Monday, then you know that I... Amir tried to uh Amir tried damn near almost spoiled it, but I stopped him. I stopped him right away. I said, Amir, don't spoil it for me. I got it in my watch list. I said, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. I wanna go into it blind. I saw a little snippet. That was it. I saw a little snippet. I don't need to see nothing else. I just saw a little snippet. <sighs> Let me react, my brother. Let me react. But nah, man. Shout out to my boy, Amir, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, man. You already know, man. They show that love on this channel. We're going to show that love right back and all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you run up them likes over there. Tell them I sent you. And uh, yeah, man. Without further ado, man, let's get into this. This, gonna be a, this should be a good-ass video right here. Just from the little snippet that I saw when I be, you know, when you put the mouse over the video and it shows you like a little, like three, it shows you like a two second snippet of the video. Yeah, I saw all I needed to see on that little snippet right there. So I I, I, I put this in here. So I'm going into this video blind. Okay. I'm going into this video blind. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going to be selected for this video, but. Hey, let's have some fun. Shout out to my boy Amir. Let's get it. All right, so boom. Popular songs that I've never heard. Let me tell y'all a quick story of something that happened to me in late 2017. One hold on, hold on. Go, go, go back real quick. Go back real quick. What? Well, I, I, I swear to God, I thought Sway Lee had like some, had like some, uh, some dirt on his chest. I was like, yo, why this nigga got dirt all over his chest? No, that's his tattoos. Like, yo, y'all niggas just tattooing up anything. This don't even make no sense, bro. What the fuck is this, bro? Y'all just tattooing yourselves up just to be tattooing yourselves up, bro. Y'all that bored? <laughs> Jesus Christ, y'all that bored? I could never, bro. That's why I ain't got no tattoos. I've I've given up on my tattoo fantasies at this point. I don't even want none now. Because looking at the shit y'all be doing, I'm good, bro. I, I, could, I could live with a naked, clean body that God gave me. I live with my basic body, bro. I'd rather have a cleanse, naked, basic basic body than whatever the fuck this is. This look like This look like taco meat right here. What the fuck going on here, dog? Quick story of something that happened to me in late 2017. One day I came across this song on YouTube that I instantly loved after I first played it. I played this song back like 15 times in one day and was like, oh my gosh, this song is amazing. I posted the song on my Snapchat asking people, how come no one ever told me about this song? This is great. And I started getting cooked by my friends because they were surprised that I didn't know the song already. The track that I'm talking about is called Seven Years by Lucas Graham. My oh. daddy told me go get yourself a wife for you will be lonely. This song was released in late 2015, yeah, I, but I never heard it until two years later in late 2017. I don't even know what the fuck this and when is. I posted it on my story, I, I immediately had I like four or five people, people message me. How the hell do you not know this song? Listen to the white Did you not leave your house the entire year of 2015, 2016? This song was everywhere. I was like, excuse me, I didn't know Lucas Graham was cold for Michael Jackson, <laughs> the fuck? And as of now, this song has 1.4 billion views on YouTube. Insane. So that's the inspiration for this video. I'm going to be showing you guys popular songs that I never even knew they existed. <laughs> it can have millions upon millions of views, have tons of streams, probably got gold and platinum certifications, charted on Billboard, all of that. Yeah, see, this right here was in a snippet when I first, uh hovered my mouse over it i was like yo ain't no way and yet to this day i've either never heard these songs before making this video or i found out about the song much later after it came out i am glad that i was able to hear the song fallen by q in a reasonable time though i couldn't let a dope song like this go a long time without being noticed 
A couple grams just to get me by. Roll some more falling from the sky. Roll some more falling from the sky. Roll some more. Follow Q on his Instagram, Twitter, and his YouTube so y'all don't have to worry about finding his music years later. Y'all can hear some heat now. Now let's get to the video. Hold up, wait a minute. I'll go just a week ago. I, I can understand. I can understand. I. I can understand. I I didn't really get into the childish Gambino wave until like uh, 2015. I didn't get into the childish Gambino wave until like 2015. So I can understand. I was I was pushing dude to the side because I'm like, wasn't he on like this one TV show that I saw? And then you know, say around 2015, I actually gave it a listen because it kept popping up in my recommendations, and I was just like, you know what? I might as well just go on ahead and listen to it because clearly the algorithm want me to listen to it. And the algorithm wasn't wrong. This shit was some heat, bro. <laughs> hey, shout out to that 2015 to 2017 algorithm. Boy, that 2015 to 2017 algorithm on YouTube when it came to the music. Salute, my guy. Salute, man. I don't know what YouTube doing now. They just... Basically, what YouTube is doing now is they basic they algorithm basically just make you listen to the same song you already listened to. Oh, we heard you listen to that that that, uh, that Kanye West song. Want to listen to it again? It's gonna be in your recommendations for for as long as it's gonna be in your recommendations for the next two weeks. Might as well keep listening to it, right? It's like nah, you, you can't you can't recommend me nothing else. You can't show me anything else other than what I've already been listening to. Come on, chief. YouTube algorithm is ass, bro. And we party every weekend, so. Alright, come on, Amir. Come on, Amir. Now I gotta get on your ass for this one, Amir. Oh, man. Donald Glover. Talk about an artist I know absolutely nothing about. If it ain't This Is America, don't get you slipping now. I couldn't tell you anything about this man's songs. Now, sometimes when I say that there are artists I haven't previously listened to or cared about, that would lead to me making an Am I Sleeping video on that person. But this is not always the case. One thing y'all have to understand is that when it comes to that series, the rapper I'm making a video on has to be someone that I have some level of interest in. Because at the end of the day, it's still a whole YouTube video. I'm not about to take time to sit down and listen to music, make a script, record the audio, condense the audio, put the video together. I'm not doing all that for just any and everybody. There are some rappers out there where even though I don't listen to their work, I'm not going to make a whole video on them either because I'm not interested in them enough to do that. Some artists, if I ever check them out, I'll just do it on my own time, but I'm not making a video out of it. The reason I bring that up is because Donald Glover is one of those artists, and am I sleeping video on him is not going to happen. His fan base is slightly the reason for this. There was one time on Twitter years ago where I posted that I don't know anything about his music because I've never listened to him, and I had niggas hitting me with... How do you not listen to Childish Gambino? Damn nigga, who do you listen to? You ain't heard because the internet awakened my love, nothing? You tripping. Them type of responses made me even more not care about this man. <laughs> but speaking of because the internet and awakened my love, 3005 was the lead single from Gambino's 2013 album, Because the Internet, while Redbone was the second single to his 2016 album, Awaken My Love. And not only have I not heard either of these two albums, I haven't heard either of these two songs that I'm talking about. 3005 is But I hope you didn't watch Get uh Get Out. I hope you didn't watch the movie Get Out and then did not know about Redbone. Everybody knew about Redbone because that goddamn Get Out uh movie. This is the opening song, so I hope you never watch if you never watch Get Out. I I I mean I I guess it's it I mean Amir you what you like what you like. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. You like what you like, my brother. But I'm just saying, though, the fact that, uh, I, like I said, I could understand Childish Gambino, uh, uh, 305, uh, 3005. I could understand because I was late on this. I didn't listen to this till like two years later. And then I was like, because, like I said, YouTube algorithm was on point around the, around 2015. It's currently certified one-time platinum and the music video has 247 million views on YouTube and after hearing it for the first time for this video I don't even like this song man I was bored listening to this got no patience because I'm not a doctor girl why is you lying 
Go why you Mufasa. Now the song Redbone is certified six times platinum and the music video currently has 684 million views. In fact, when you look up Gambino on the tube for his most popular videos, these are his four most popular songs. 3005 is in fourth place with 247 mil. Another song called Feels Like Summer is in third place with 309 million. Redbone was in second with 684 mil. And then of course, This Is America is his most popular song at 908 mil. And if any of you were wondering, no, I've never heard this Feels Like Summer song either. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all may think I'm lying just for a video, but I'm not. I don't know shit about this man. If Childish Gambino has great music and all, all right, shout out to him. But he has always been someone that I've never paid the slightest bit of attention to. I don't listen to his music. I don't hang around anybody that listens to his music, nothing. I do want to take this time to say for every song in this video, I'm not demeaning the artist or the popularity of the track. I'm not saying that just because I never heard the track that it means it wasn't a hit or that it was nothing special. Hell no, that's not what I mean. So don't be in the comments talking about just because you and your little friends don't listen to Gambino doesn't mean no one else does because that's not at all what my point is. I just want to say that now because I know someone out there will start reaching and take it that way. No, I don't understand what you're saying, Amir. Now everybody put your hands in the air. Uh. I ain't gonna so lie, like I said, hey man, Chris Breezy the GOAT, but I wasn't listening to his pop shit, bro, I'm sorry. Hey, Fame is a goaded album, let's just keep it real, Fame is a goaded album, bro. Fame is a goaded album, but let's keep it real, bro. I was not trying to hear that pop shit. Listen, if I didn't want to hear it from Nicki Minaj, what the fuck make you think I want to hear it from Chris Brown? I do not want to hear that pop shit, that pop bubblegum pop shit. I was like, nah, Chief, y'all can have that. But, you know what I'm saying, look at me now. Oh, look at me now. I'm getting paid for yellow bottle jeans, yellow tie, <laughs> yellow Lamborghini. Yep, yep, this shit look like a toupee. I get what you get in 10 years, in two days. Ladies of me, I'm on my cool J. Come on, man. And then uh, the other song, what was the other song? Uh, Deuces, that shit was fire. Hey, Deuces is always going to be fire. That shit is that shit is the ultimate breakup song. That's the greatest breakup song. I, I you No, know, I think that, that, no, that's not the greatest breakup song, but it's in the top three, though. It's definitely in the top three. Chucking up the deuces. That's a good ass breakup song. But anyways, <laughs> I, I understand it here because I was not trying to hear the bubblegum pop shit from Chris Brown. But as time went on, I was like, you know what? I was sleeping on this song. Song Yeah Three Times was the second song that Chris Brown released in the entire 2010s decade. This was around the time he made those early fan of a fan mixtapes with Tiger. And when I look at the singles that Chris Brown was on in 2010, there was only one song that I did not recognize. In terms of his own singles, Chris only dropped two songs that year. The very first song he dropped during the decade was Deuces, and we all know that one. In terms of the singles that he was featured on, we saw Chris on a few tracks. The first song I want to mention is honestly a song I feel like is crazy forgotten. I think it's forgotten because the main artist whose song it is, is someone we don't talk about at all anymore. And this person hasn't had a hit song since this collab with Chris. The song I'm talking about is Make a Movie with Twista. Make a movie in a year. I ain't gonna. I hey, I'm hey, I'm gonna just say this right now. Around this time frame, a hey, Twister has some hits, bro. Twister has some hits. He had them bedroom, and hey, he had them bedroom essentials, bro. This song right here was a bedroom essential, bro. I'm telling you, dog, for real. I'm telling you, dog. I ain't telling no lies, my nigga. Hold on. 
I ain't telling no lies. You know it like I know it. With your freaky ass. If you was getting some poom poom around this time, you know. Make a movie and wetter by Twister were bedroom essentials. You needed to have them playing. That shit made, bro, that shit made them girls freaky, man. You know it like I know it, man. Don't act like you don't know. Don't act like you don't know, man. Ears. Another track he did was the motivational song, Get Back Up by Tip from his No Mercy album. And lastly, this feature right here is probably my favorite one of the three. <laughs> this is the song you got to play when you're trying to get over a girl that's done you dirty. you just trying to go out, party, and have fun and get this girl out of your system. And that song was Ain't Thinking About You with Bow Wow. Hey! Tonight, so I knew tonight, every single that hey. he was on during this year, except for the second single that he put out after Deuces, and that was Yeah Three Times. I found out about this song after I made my rap songs I thought would be trash video, and I had a Chris Brown song in there. After that, I looked into how many songs he has from all of his albums, just in case I ever make a song ranking video on him. And let me reiterate, this man has over 200 songs. That's going to be a long ass video. But when I was looking at the Fame album and I was looking at the singles on there, I went, okay, look at me now. Yep, of course I remember that. She Ain't You, yep, yep, that's the song where he sampled SWV, I remember that. Wet the Bed, yep, that was another hit, the hoes loved that one. Yes. But I saw Yeah Three Times was the lead single from the album, and I was instantly thrown off, like, what the hell is this song? It was a pop song. I saw song. that it was three times platinum, it has 320 million views on YouTube, it's a, it's and I was so shocked because I have never heard this song in my life. When describing the inspiration song. for this song, Brown straightforwardly said he wanted to make a track to appeal to his pop audience since he was previously making hits for his urban audience. But he also said that when he heard the beat for this song for the first time, it reminded him of one of his other previous songs that was also a pop hit, which was Forever. Now I'm actually not even mad that I've never heard this song before because it's incredibly cheesy to me. This entire track has that overly poppy, energetic, come on everybody, let's get up and dance kind yeah. of feel to it which doesn't make it bad, it's just not appealing to me. I feel like I'm listening to something on Disney Channel when I hear this song. That's even how the music video looks. He's walking down the street and bringing together everybody in the neighborhood for one big dance number. We're all in this together. Looking ass. The yeah, Three Times definitely reflects the era that it was released in. In the early 2010s, this was the type of music that was getting popular. That techno EDM music. Nah, this was the music that was getting played in the Walmarts and the Targets. You know, the shit that most deaf was talking about with Drake. You know what I'm saying? But you want that though. You want to be played at the mall. You want to be played at H and M. You want to be played at uh Fever 21. You want to be played in these type of environments. You don't want your music to just be on the radio and in people cars and only on streaming sites. No, you want that shit to be in places where people go to go get food, go get clothes. You know what I'm saying? Go uh, waiting for they uh waiting for their welfare check. You want to at least make sure you got music that's playing. So I don't blame Chris Brown for it. I understand why he did it. I think that DJs still. always play at raves. The production of this song sounds the same as that Nicki Minaj Starships Pound the Alarm sound that she was using a couple of years afterwards. See, this is why I didn't want to I don't think y'all understand. Me shit. finding this song was a huge revelation. I didn't recognize it by name. I didn't recognize the chorus. I didn't recognize anything. I know so many of Chris Brown's early hits but for this song to be three times platinum and have over 300 mil, this was not in my memory bank. Considering how anti-Travis Scott I am, this man probably got a gang of popular songs that I haven't heard, but Franchise is the track I wanted to touch on for this video. Now, unlike every other song that's included in this list, this track doesn't have huge certifications by the RIAA. This song was released in September 2019, 
and became certified gold in Canada in December 2020, and that's it. But there are some other nice stats that the track still accomplished, but before saying what those stats are, this song was not on anybody's project. The track has Travis on it, and it also has Young Thug and M.I.A. on it. Some, 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 let go. That M.I.A. How she even got on the song was because she had reached out to Travis and wanted him to appear on one of her albums. But instead of that happening, he got her to appear on this track. But this song was made as a standalone single, and it wasn't put on a project by any of the three artists. The music video was actually filmed at Michael Jordan's mansion in Illinois, so that's crazy that Mike even likes Travis that much to let him film a music video there. He got them, uh, he got them, uh, Travis Scott ones. That's why he got them Travis Scott ones, and then on top of that, Michael Jordan can't sell that fucking house. He done put too much into it. He didn't put Michael. See, that's why. That's the reason we're having too much money. When you got too much money, you could just invest into a whole goddamn acres of land and shit like that and now you can't sell it because the maintenance is too much to keep up that mean you got too much damn money on your goddamn hands bro I, I i i wouldn't blame anybody that wouldn't buy that goddamn house that house is that house is too much to keep maintenance up on but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's because he got the uh, Travis Scott uh, ones with um, with Jordan, so that's pretty much how he pretty much got it. So, and plus Jordan can't sell that house, so you might as well rent it out for music videos. And the track itself sees the artist celebrating their success and lavish lifestyles. Travis talking about how he created a record label just so he can sign himself. Thugger and MIA rapping about luxury and all the nice things that they own. The music video is currently sitting at 135 million views on YouTube, which for a song by Travis, you know where he's not a feature and it's his song, this is actually top 15 of his most popular tracks on the site. But I got an even crazier stat that I wanted to really highlight. Apparently with this song franchise, Travis Scott became the first artist in Billboard history to have three songs debut at number one within a year time span. So Franchise, somehow, debuted at number one on October 10th, 2020. Granted, it was only at number one for one week and it sharply fell all the way down to 25 the next week. And then a month later, at the beginning of November, it was already lower than number 50. So although it debuted at the top of the charts, it immediately started losing steam and way less people were playing it. But before this number one hit in October 2020, he had two other songs debut at that number one spot. The first song in October 2019 to debut at number one was highest in the room. This hit number one on October 19th, 2019. And then the second song he got to debut at the top was in May 2020 when he released The Scots with Kid Cudi. The Scots hit number one on May 9th, 2020. So within that time span, Travis was literally right under that one year cutoff. There's 52 weeks in a year. That 51 weeks from October 19th, 2019 and October 10th, 2020, Travis had three songs debut at the top of Billboard and no artist has ever done that. That's incredible. So even though I've never heard the song franchise, I can't hate on Travis for this. That's a crazy accomplishment that he was grinding like that to get three number one hits within a year. I do have a quick question that I want everyone watching this video to try to answer in the comments. What is a song, either old or new, that if somebody told you that they never heard the song in their life, you probably wouldn't even believe them. I'm asking this question now because I already know some of you guys are gonna watch this video and have this reaction. Y'all are about to go, there is no way you've never heard this song. So leave a comment down below and let me know. What's a song out there that if somebody told you, nope, I've never heard it. You even pulled up the song and played it for them and they was like, nope, don't sound familiar. You would think they was lying to you. Y'all let me know. Eight hundred and sixty nine million views. I have never heard this song in my life. And y'all know what makes Maybe. it worse? This song is certified diamond. The kid Leroy having a diamond song is outrageous. That's like me telling y'all that I have a diamond record. That would be some bullshit, wouldn't it? For starters, the kid Leroy is one of those artists that, although I've never checked out his music, 
I'm not against listening to him. You know, he's not one of those people that I look at and go like, ugh, who the hell is this? Nah, I'm straight. One of these days, I might check him out, especially because he only got one album and one mixtape. Listening to his music seriously wouldn't take that long. Well, even then, that one mixtape that he has, the kid released three additional reloaded versions of that mixtape instead of just naming it a different project. His original F Love mixtape came out on July 24th, 2020. Five months later, he added a reissue of the project titled F Love Savage on November 6, 2020. The next year, on July 23rd, 2021, he released a third edition of the same tape titled F Love 3 Over You. This third edition, by the way, is the one that has the song Stay with Justin Bieber. Stay was the lead single for this project. But don't worry, this nigga isn't done. Four days, four days after releasing F Love 3 Over You, he released something called F Love 3 Plus Over You on July 27th. All right, he milked this blows my mind when artists do this, when they release two or three deluxe edition of the same tape. Pooh Shiesty did the same thing with his Shiesty Season project. Like, bro, if you got all this music, y'all could have just called it something else. I think they just be wanting to cash grab on the name of the first project yeah, it's since it's already grab. established. Now, Justin Bieber is someone I've definitely never listened to. I haven't even forgave him for that whole yummy debacle in 2020 when he was trying Man, to. Y'all don't stop hating on this fucking song. Y'all don't stop hating on this motherfucking song. I'm getting tired of y'all hating on this goddamn song. I fucking hate y'all people, bro. Why y'all hating on this song, bro? This song was actually decent, but I prefer the remix with Summer Walker because Summer Walker do make this song way more interesting than the regular version. I love the regular version, but the Summer Walker remix is fire, bro. I don't care what nobody say. I love the Summer Walker remix. But y'all gonna stop hating on this son song. The yummy slander got to stop at some point, bro. Y'all got to let that shit go. This song was actually fire, bro. This song was actually fire. And you got that yummy, 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 yummy. What you doing for me? That, so he can go number one. He was acting so cringe around that time, trying to get everybody to like that track. Justin Bieber. Oh my god, love him, but Yummy is just like not it. It's Yummy's, not that good. You it's not it! Oh my god, it's not it! Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna kill you! Oh. Oh, okay, Yummy's good. I <laughs> now, me personally, Justin and Leroy's voices kind of blend together on this. Like, they honestly sound the same. Leroy has the first half of the song, Justin doesn't come in until a minute and a half. But their singing voices on this song don't sound that different. The track itself is your everyday relationship song about I know I made mistakes and I know there's things I've done that you probably won't forgive me for. But baby, I still need you to stay. If I have to beg, plead for your sympathy, I don't mind because you mean that much to me. Ooh, sweet darling. So I think me not being a listener of Leroy or Justin is the reason I've never came across this song. But either way you slice it, if the kid Leroy can have a diamond record, then maybe even you that's listening to this video right now can have a diamond record. Anybody can have a diamond record right now. All you need is a catchy uh, hit for TikTok. All right, man, I'm about to turn this goddamn video off, man. You and this goddamn Post Malone. I, listen, listen. <laughs> nah. I know the first one that I played, Sunflower. Man, I know y'all about to get on my ass for not knowing that song. Man, I don't I have care. It's Post Malone. Been seeing I don't want to hear him, period. So many records. All over Fuck social Post media, Malone. I would see I would how never, the song bro, was platinum. Then another, I will never forgive Post Malone for White Iverson, bro. That shit pissed me off, bro. How can there be a white Iverson? Iverson is for the brothers, man. That's a hood superstar. That's my favorite fucking player of all time. My personal favorite. I don't give a fuck about no Jordan. All, you know, RIP to Kobe, but I never really liked Kobe like that. Um, I never was truly a fan of LeBron like that. He just never developed into the player that I thought he was going to develop into. But 
You know, KD switched up and KD keeps switching up and joining teams left and right. He done fell off. Um, yeah, I, uh, Dwayne Wade got a weirdo got a weirdo uh, life behind the scenes. So I, 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 I've distanced myself from Dwayne Wade and his weirdo life. Um, yeah, so outside of that, only Allen Iverson, Melo, Westbrook, um, and Giannis. That's the only players I, I can truly say are my favorites, man. Like, all time, Iverson is my number one. And the fact that you made a song called White Iverson. White Iverson had the braids, the jersey, everything. And had the audacity to make that song. Man, fuck Post Malone. I'll never forget you. And you a country singer, bro. Talk about some White Iverson. Started balling when I was young. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Ain't no fucking Iverson, nigga. You don't really know about Iverson like that. You ain't no true Iverson fan, nigga. Fuck you. Another platinum. Then another platinum. I'm talking about platinum, been since platinum, since been platinum, since been platinum. Oh, and more recently, at care, the beginning bro. of February 2024, I saw that this became the highest certified song ever and the first song to ever sell 20 million units, meaning it's two times diamond. When I hear records being shattered like this, it makes me think, man, some artists yeah, probably just care, don't be updating their certifications Malone. enough or it's something. Because this the fact that want. someone like Whitney Houston or Michael Jackson don't have a double diamond song yet, but Post Malone does is wicked. Michael and Whitney's estates gonna have to check the current numbers on their records. But when it comes to Post Malone, this man has so many diamond songs that it's outrageous. This guy is so successful that it looked like they just be handing him diamond records. As of the recording of this video, Post Malone has nine diamond songs, nine of them. And yet the most successful one of all is one that I've never heard. Now the last time I told people that I've never heard this Sunflower track, the first thing out of everybody's mouth was, so you must not have seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse yet. It's impossible that you've seen that movie and don't know this song. And yes, anybody who thinks this is correct. I have yet to see that movie. Another thing that you guys may have thought while watching this video, and I didn't address this until now, some of you may be skeptical and going, oh, you just may not recognize the song by name. But if you pull it up and play it, you might recognize it from somewhere. And I'm here to tell you, no. <laughs> as hard as it may be to believe, all of the entries in this video, I have not heard one second of these tracks before the first time I found them. These stories I've been telling y'all, I'm not boosting. I put on all of these songs and went, nope, doesn't ring any bells. For Post Malone specifically, I have multiple songs in this entry because I was looking up what Post these top six most popular songs on YouTube are. If you want to read, the list is right here. But out of these six songs, y'all, I only recognize three of them. And those are White Iverson. White Iverson is the only song I even listen to by Post Malone, period. Y'all know that series I have of rappers I only listen to for one song? Yeah, I could have easily put Post Malone in either of those two videos. White Iverson is his only track that I run back. But I also recognize Rockstar and Congratulations. These other three songs though, Sunflower like I already mentioned, the song Circles, and then Psycho with Ty Dolla Sign. Nope, not hip, not a zilch. This Into the Spider-Verse movie, I don't know if I'm gonna ever watch this, but the song Psycho was from his Beer Bongs and Bentley's album, while Circles was from his Hollywood's Bleeding album. And hey, these may end up getting a spin from me because I do want to listen to more Post Malone outside of White Iverson. I'm not one of those people that hates Post Malone because, oh, he came into the game saying he a rapper and as soon as he got famous, he tried to disassociate from the genre. He took advantage of black culture by making his money off of us and then acting like he wants nothing to do with us. There are so many black people that still haven't forgiven him for this. This is what we call the white poser boy. In other words, the motherfucker who thinks he's black. Now, is it me? Or is it a conspiracy? <laughs> My I appreciate but the shot. <laughs> I appreciate the shout out. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, 
Alright, yo. I appreciate the shout out, my nigga. <laughs> I appreciate the shout out. Hey, my nigga, I appreciate the shout out, my nigga. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, my nigga. Hey, what's up? Hey, I appreciate the shout out, my nigga. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Hey, shout out to my boy. Man. <laughs> Hold on, let me let let me go back so y'all can experience greatness for a quick second. Let me let me let me let me take myself off the camera off the screen real quick so y'all can experience greatness. Hold on, bro. There is so many black people that still haven't forgiven him for this. This is what we call the white poser boy. In other words, the motherfucker who thinks he's black. Now is it me? Or is it a conspiracy, my brother? But I'm not one of those people, so I'll listen to what his other songs sound like one of them. Hey, shout out to my nigga. Hey, shout out to my Hey yo, hey yo, oh, oh, oh shit, I'm over here dying nigga, what the fuck, my chest hurt like a oh my god, oh man, Hey, shout out to my boy. <laughs> In other words, the motherfucker who thinks he's black. Now, is it me? Or is it a conspiracy, my brother? But I'm not one of those people, so I'll listen to what his other songs sound like one of these days. Oh, man. Oh man. Hey, we, hey. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Now, is it me? <laughs> or is it <laughs> a conspiracy? <laughs> conspiracy. Oh, did I type that right? I don't think I typed that right. Hold on. I don't think I typed that right. Yeah, I didn't type that right at all. Uh, I did not type that right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I got to put this on there. <laughs> Hey, shout out to my boy Amir, man. Shout out to my boy Amir. Hey, yo, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, dog. I appreciate the shout out at the end, bro. That shit is hilarious, bro. I was wondering why you asked me about, um, why you was asking me about. I was wondering why you asked me about, uh, copyrights. I guess you got copyright. Yeah. Cause if I do let the hook go on for, if I do let that song go on for too long, it does. YouTube will try to pick it up, but I understand completely though. But because I'm doing it through my phone, uh, which is, it, I don't know, it's like a cheat code. If I do it through my phone, YouTube won't pick up a lot of the shit just as long as I don't play the song in its full time. Now, some songs is gonna pick up regardless, 
But I understand, my brother. I understand. <laughs> Hey yo, the '85 South picture was already already had me, bro. The the '85 South, the '85 South already had me, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. The '85 South already had me, bro. So many black people. But when I saw like myself, bro, this is what we call the white poser boy. In other words, the motherfucker who thinks he's black. Now is it me, or is it a conspiracy, my brother? <laughs> but I'm not one of those people, so I'll listen to what his <laughs> song sound like. One oh of man, I'm sorry. I just can't get into Post Below, though. I, I I still hate him for that White Iverson song. I just hate the fact that he said White Iverson. You could have said Kobe. You could have said Tracy McGrady. You could have said Vince Carter. You could have said anybody else, bro. You chose Iverson of all people. You could have said Jordan, bro, and I wouldn't have even been mad at you. Nigga, you said Iverson, bro. That's what, bro, I have, bro, I got to make a list of all the rappers I hate for the lip, for the pettiest reasons. I got to, bro. I got to make a video explaining my beef with every single artist that I have a beef with. For petty reasons, bro. I have to do it, bro. I have to do. I have to explain myself. I have to. But anyway, so damn, this video is forty minutes long, and that's only because I was laughing, bro. And that's only well, mainly, mainly for the post Malone hate. I hate post Malone with a passion. I, I can't. I can't help it, bro. I hate post Malone. The White Iverson. The one foot in the game, then one foot out the game. It's like, nigga, you in or you out? Ah, oh, man, I can't stand Post Malone. I, and plus, his music is just trash to me anyway. I don't like none of his music, bro. Really, his features carry him, if I'm being honest. His features carry him. 21 Savage carried him. Uh, There's a Justin Bieber song out there. That Justin Bieber song, he carried him. Uh, it's so much shit. But anyways, though, I'm gonna end this video off because we've been going on for like 40 minutes, bro. I could sit here and rant about Post Malone all day. But I appreciate the shout out, though. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Amir. Um, <laughs> shout out to my boy Amir. I see why you was uh hyping up that video for me, my guy. I see why you was hyping that video up for me now. I was I was wondering like why is he hyping up this video? This video I'm thinking this video is gonna be some heat. Nah, it just turned out it, he threw me in at the end. But I appreciate the shout out though. So yeah, shout out to my boy Mir. Make sure I go subscribe to his channel, run them likes up. Um Tell him I sent you. You already know they show their love over here. We're gonna show that love right back. I will see you all in the next video, man. I, I need to go drink some water, bro. My chest hurting like a motherfucking dog. God damn.